Thanks for showing up to watch this video. These videos are a kind of old hat from my Patreon site, but they're now released to the public, so I hope you find them helpful, and if you do, please like and share them. For the latest, newest daily readings, affirmations, every day, for lessons on how to read tarot, how to enhance your own psychic abilities, to have magical healing gemstones sent to your house every month that angels picked out for you, please check out my site, patreon.com slash terribly accurate. Let's get right to the video then. I think these were in the last video, but I couldn't remember for sure. So one thing you can do with crystals is um, if you have crystal beads, string them up. You can buy these little cages at rock stores and put your favorite rocks in them. You can wear them as um, jewelry. You know, you can make a necklace out of that, whatever. But I have mine hanging from a light here just because my windows obviously with the shades on them um, won't hold them anymore and I didn't know where to put them. Another thing you can do with crystals is um, infuse your water with it. Now, um, what you can see here is that it's only really kind of safe to do that with certain crystals. Now, both of these are polished, which makes them safe. Um, but you would know on your crystal sheet that I mail with you with these, um, with these crystals to you, which ones are safe to put in water or not. So, you just um, get the water going. And you can let these crystals sit here. You could do it like sun tea, put them in the sun, put them outside in the moonlight. I will typically, if I ever um, make water to drink, something like that, I will typically leave it out like a full moon and the sun and um, then maybe pour it into a jug, put it back in the fridge so then every time that I'm drinking it, I'm absorbing those qualities. So for example, you know, with this one here, the orange calcite, that one is going to um, help you release fears and then that black and white moonstone is about protection and divine guidance, things like that. So these are um, really good stones for um, when you're feeling negative to help you release negativity. Every time you drink this water, you should feel more positive, things like that. You could also put it in a mister and spray it around your home, like um, good vibe spray is what I called it. I used to do this for my son um, when he was having a lot of nightmares. I would make um, all sorts of different elixirs with um, the water. You could put essential oil in there afterwards too, just so it smells pretty. And um, I would spray it in his room and it helped. Now, if you have stones that you wanna use that are not safe to put in water, that are not good to drink, um, the way that you can do this is I'm gonna hang up this video and start a new one so I can show you actually. Okay, now let's say that I wanted to infuse this water, but um, these stones were not polished. They were not safe to get wet. I just go like this, place them all the way around, put them in the sunlight and the moonlight overnight. That's it. Then in the morning, this should have absorbed all of the rays. Now, let's. some people like to have oil and things. Um, infused for whatever reason like maybe to use it to massage sore muscles things like that so you don't want your crystals though getting all oily and gunky right so the way to do that um would be the same way you'd infuse a diet cherry coke so you put your oil in the center and then you can go ahead and um hold on let me drag that closer okay so oh, i don't know how to do this one here Bear with me, sorry, sorry guys. Haley, can you come hold this camera for a second? Thank you. So you put the water in there, okay? You wanna fill it up above the level of the stone. And then the same process, you just leave it outside to um, soak up, like the, the moonlight is going to cleanse them and then the sun is going to recharge them. So leave them in the sun for like 24 hours if you can. Even if it's a cloudy day, it's still gonna work because the sun rays do go through the clouds. So then when you take your oil out or your diet cherry coke, now all of a sudden it's infused with the um, crystalline properties or the spiritual properties associated to those stones. So another thing that you can do, like let's say that you have a sore throat or something, is you can infuse your drinks with those crystal things and then gargle it. So you'd add some salt or tequila, whatever it is that you like with it, but combine those. Um, another thing that you can do 
is put them under your bed. Create grids under your bed. There are different things you can do with Feng Shui as far as um, where to put different crystals in your home. A good idea like in a kid's room is to hide in the corner, sometimes underneath a bed or something, which is hard to do. I can't change this camera. I can't flip it around for some reason. But like for example, in a closet, you can um, hide an adventuring stone and it will inspire them to keep their rooms clean. Another thing that you can do with your crystals is to meditate in the bathtub with them. As you're relaxing in the bath, drop them in there. Um, as you can see as she lays back, go ahead and lay back, Hill, that sometimes a good idea is to put them on the associated chakra. So I have a um, citrine. I'll put that right here on her tummy and just let her relax in the bath. Um, anything green you put on the heart chakra anything orange right there um we've got a blue one so i'll just put that on her throat and then it'll help you relax and balance out your chakras oh man angeline's not feeling very good so maybe i will take a few stones and place them on her chakra locations here okay i might put um a purple one, an amethyst on her third eye. But then what I'm going to do is take a wand and in the counterclock um, direction, start at the top and go in circles asking the angels to um, come in and infuse the chakra with the light to clear out any blockages. And then when I'm done, I'm going to go backwards to seal it shut, okay? And then the same thing for each one. And you can do this on yourself. And if you're doing it on yourself, um, you'll kind of notice, you know, the sensations inside. If you're doing it on someone else, you might feel some sensation in your hand through the wand. I know my throat chakra is always the one that's jacked up. Um, I'll start feeling like I have like a big globby um, mucus clot or something like an actual frog in my throat, indicating it needs more work. Now, um, I've seen people do it this way where they do that and then they kind of just throw away any negative energy, like throw away anything icky that's blocking and then seal it back up, you know? So um, you can do it that way all the way down and back up. Okay, so I'm trying to think if there's any other crystal methods that I use aside from um, the obvious carrying it in your pocket. Like I said, I like to put it um, maybe above all windows and doors. I put it um, under the carpet and stairs if your stairs are carpeted. Um, I had a client who used to always carry her green stone in, because it's associated to your heart chakra, in her bra. Um, I keep hematite in my car in order to keep me safe as I'm driving. But um, like you see with this one, this one, this citrine was selected because of the shape there because a lot of people use citrine to um, eliminate anxiety. And so for that reason, I have this one here as a worry stone. So you can just rub on it. You know, you just rub it. <laughs> Take away your worries. But then you have to remember with a stone like that, that's absorbing energy, that you do need to put it out in the moonlight um, to cleanse it again and then recharge it in the sun or whatever it says, you know, specifically on your um, sheet that came with it, because some of them can't get wet or should avoid sunlight. Turquoise, for example, if you leave it in the sun, will turn white, it'll lose all its color, and it's a really expensive stone, so you don't want to do that. Okay, um, let me know if there's any cool ways that you guys have been using crystals that I'm not aware of. Bye.